Right now at 4.30, two siblings were shot to death overnight in a car on Chicago's south side overnight, one of them just 15 years old. CBS 2's Sarah monkey has been tracking down more information on this. And Sarah, what have you been able to find? Well, a really heartbreaking situation in this case. Like you mentioned, those two siblings shot and killed just around 1230 early this morning in Roseland. The medical examiner's office has identified them both as Terry Player, same name, but different spellings. Shattered glass and yellow crime scene tape. That's all that remains at this corner of 109th and Wentworth after shot spotter first reported 18 rounds here overnight. All the six three males came up to the college black infinity and started shooting. The college boyfriend and his sister were inside the vehicle, believes they both were shot. Dispatchers say both people were shot. Victims we now know to be a 15 year old girl and her 24 year old brother. St. Sabina's father, Michael Flager, confirmed. The 24 year old brother had smoke. He had drama. And his 15 year old girl just happened to be in the car with him. Yeah, you're right. He was, um, he was a known shooter killer, um, but um, what what this was was a setup. What do you mean? Who set him up? Drug deal setup. Oh, he was going to get some herb and some shit, and then they popped out on him, killed his sister. Shit, man. Fuck. Mm. 18 year old girl and her 24 year old brother. St. Sabina's father, Michael Flager, confirming the girl was a student there as recently as 2022. Obviously, I'm greater sad because it's a graduate who went to our school. But this whole city should be weeping whenever a child is shot or killed. What's wrong with it? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, that even the tone of this story is it's like the it's like the news lady's rushing it. She's like, no, 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 no. She's like, she, you like it's just like she like I'll just let's just get through this one, man. Just another one. What's wrong with these people, man? That they don't care, and the only people that probably do care are probably the gliders, but the <laughs> gliders don't understand it. They probably they don't understand this. How like this happens all the time? Like, how many kids get killed in Chicago every week? Like what ten? Yeah, the only well, thing well, different is five. the year. Five, five, five kids get killed. Like what? Twenty get shot every week. In five. So in the summer, in the week? summertime, in the summertime, I'll probably say eight to twelve people. Um, a weekend, but during a week, like yearly, probably five. Salute to Alejandro Miz. He says. Patrice O'Neill used to call on Brito's ancient dishwashers, LOL, <laughs> apocalypto types. The Haitians are going to come here and open dirt cookie shops. Yikes. Facts. With us. When did that become normal? It was one of several shootings overnight. Violence interrupters at 109th and other shooting scenes Wednesday morning, pushing for an end to the shootings. Okay, Chicago. We're getting a preview of what's coming this summer. <laughs> so are we going to just keep saying how horrible it is, or are we going to get a plan? We've heard over the, the dispatch that there was a city camera in what that the, area like, last night, but dispatchers Father telling saying get a plan. officers who were responding. Father Flager been... saying get a plan. So if the police and ASAs and the mayor get a plan, is going to involve locking up people and keeping them in that motherfucker for a long time, and he won't like it. So, like, what? What's his plan? Yeah, he's always bitching about something, and then, like, oh, God, man, they start locking people up, and he's just going to get mad over it. Tonight at 11, and we are now digging into the death of a beloved barber shot and killed outside of his home in East Point. It has been three weeks since the shooting and still no arrests. Just hours ago, 11 Alive Teresa Bull spoke to the man's parents and partner for the very first time. A mother coming back to a crime scene for the first time. Where was the love that TK showed you? All the compassion all the forgiveness. Verna Wilcox is speaking directly to her son's killer, who she says didn't share the same qualities 
Very selfless, Karen. As her son, 35-year-old Righteous Torrance Hill. The family says Hill identifies as a transgender man, and he would give back to the LGBTQ plus community through. Oh, what? So he's really a woman. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's that shit woman. always fucks with my mind. I feel like, yep. It so should. Is, it's supposed to fuck with your mind. Yo, it's needs a woman that turned into a man. That's a woman. Look, you can tell. If you look at that face, look closely, you will see that it is, in fact, a woman. Yeah, if you look yeah. very closely. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, I see you now. What yeah. Fuck, man? <laughs> God. The fuck? Damn. This Karen. As her son, 35-year-old Righteous Torrance Hill. The family says Hill identifies as a transgender man, and he would give back to the LGBTQ plus community through his barbershop, Evolution. He just wanted it to be a safe haven for the community. Hill's partner of six years, Terry Wilson, says she was there when his... <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a dude? That, like, no, she just got a dude's name. No, no, no. Oh, what the? Fuck? There's, there's the tranny who is in fact a woman, but is, yeah. is pretending to be a man, and he's got a girl with a male's name that is in fact just a girl. I think that's what's going on here. I, I hope so. <laughs> so they, they're both. Biological women, I'll say that basically. Yeah. Hill's partner of six years, Terry Wilson, says she was there when his mission came to a hard stop. A spokesperson for East Point Police says a relative shot Hill several times in his front yard. His family says after a bad argument. One of the last things I heard Torrance say was, just leave and you just gonna shoot me. And that's when I heard the gunshots. Holding the gun, Wilson says, was a cousin he was taking in, just like he did his community. A cousin he took in. God, sons ain't shit, man. Fuck. Was a cousin he was taking in, just like he did his community. That's when I came downstairs. His cousin was nowhere to be found, and he had started to bleed out profusely. East Point police still haven't found the suspect, but there's an active warrant for their arrest. The family wants to make it clear that yes, there was hate behind Hill's death, but not a hate crime. And they want the cousin prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. The National Black Justice Coalition is demanding answers as data from the National Center for Transgender Equality shows that more than half of trans deaths are by guns. And an early death is even more likely if they're black. Plus, one third of oh crimes remain unsolved. Of course it is. Now, 